Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about maybe one of the most important things to know about playing guitar. Triads. I'm gonna demonstrate how to make things sound more interesting by using triads. I'm gonna use the song Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. I'm sure you all know the song. We are going to start very easy. I hope you like this lesson. If you do so, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. You can share this video and let's do it. First question, what is a triad? And the answer is very simple. A triad is just a chord. You need three notes to build a chord. You need your root note, you need the minor third for a minor chord, the major third for a major chord, and the fifth. Three notes and there you have it. The interesting thing is you don't have to play your standard chords um, in the open position all the time and you don't have to use the bar chords. You can use the triad shapes along the neck. Just a simple example. A A major chord. Most of you guys would say that's an A major. And that's true. That would be an A major. Right. And A major. Cool. But A major. A major. all A major along the neck. I just used the different um, triad shapes to make it more interesting. Let's get back to Ocean Eyes. The chord progression is simple. Uh, you need C major, D major, and E minor. Right? So it's C, D, E minor. And then it's G major and C major. Um, to make it more interesting, in the intro I played um, not the open C major. I played the C major triad right here. That's fret 5 on the um, D, the G and the B string that's a C major chord, or a C major triad. C major chord, C major triad. Instead of playing the D major chord, the open D major chord, I played a D major triad right here. That's um, fret seven on the D, the G and the B string. So we have instead of and the E minor is that's an E minor triad that's fret um, 5 on the D string, fret 4 on the G string and fret 5 on the B string. Right? Instead of you can play next we need a G major I use this one 
that's fret um, 9 on the D string, fret 7 on the G string and fret 8 on the B string. And C major. Basically you could use uh, this C major again, but to mix things up I used this one. That's fret um, 10 on the D string, fret 9 on the G string and fret 8 on the B string. Okay, so C, D, E minor, C, D, E minor, G and C. for the basic rhythm part. Okay, the next set of triads um, on a different pair of strings. Uh, same chord progression, of course, it's a C major. Um, that's fret nine on the G string and fret eight on the B and the high E string. C major. D major is fret um, 11 on the G string and fret 10 on the B and the high E string. And E minor is fret 9 on the G string, fret 8 on the B string and fret 7 on the high E string. So it's C major, D major, and E minor. G major is um, fret nine, no, sorry, fret seven on the G string, fret eight on the B string, and fret seven on the high E string. And um, the C major, you could uh, use this one or this one. So uh, G major. I use this C note on um, fret five on the G string, right? So we have the basic rhythm part, C, D, E minor, G and C, and we have um, a overdub, same chord progression, C, D, E minor. Um, this G triad and the note C on fret 5 on the G string. All you have to do is you have to practice that whole triad's universe um, basically on a daily basis to um, get comfortable with it. Um, you can take any simple song you like, any simple song you like. Let's say um, Knocking on Heaven's Door. Same chords, uh, G major, D major, C major. You could use this G major. Um, this D major and this C major.
right? That's all you have to do. Take, take a few songs and um, try to uh, replace the standard chords with triads. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up, and don't forget, practice at your own speed.